In the world of stage lighting, traditional incandescent or halogen bulb spotlights are making way for LEDs. LEDs are light-emitting diodes controlled by electronics. They use less energy, emit less heat, and can produce a wide array of colors without the use of filters. Incandescent or halogen stage lights produce just one color. The only way to create more is to shine the light beam through colored plastic called gel filters. However, this LED stage light uses seven different colored LEDs, which can be blended into a variety of different hues. This computer-guided machine places all the components on the stage light circuit board, which contains 60 LEDs in seven different base colors. Another machine measures and cuts pieces of insulated electrical wire. Then the machine strips the insulation off the ends and crimps on terminals. The machine processes up to 26 feet of wire per second. Workers manually assemble 10 wires and two connectors into a control harness. The harness will connect the light's control board to the LED array. On the factory floor, they paint the stage light's two-part cast aluminum housing. The paint process is electrostatic. This means the housing and the black powder paint are laced with opposing electrical charges. This spreads the paint evenly over the housing. Then the housing goes through an oven which bakes on the paint. Back in the assembly area, workers install the stage light's electronic components, starting with the LCD screen. It displays the current settings and modes, and the menus for changing them. After covering the screen with a protective plastic shield, they install the control panel. It has an opening for the screen. This plastic cover protects the LCD. It also directs outside air into the housing to the light's cooling fan, which they now secure in place with this bracket. The fan dissipates the heat the LEDs generate. This block of aluminum, called the heat sink, absorbs and quickly dissipates some of that heat. They mount the LED array on top of this two-fold cooling system. Then they install the optic assembly. This plastic component focuses the individual LEDs. They construct the stage light's mixing tube, lining its interior with adhesive-backed aluminum mirrors. The mirrors mix the seven LED colors into a single color. The assemblers now join the two halves of the mixing tube, adding a glass lens on the front. The lens focuses the light produced by the 60 LEDs into a single beam. Then they install the tube over the optic. Next, they mount the control card to the side of the mixing tube. The control card is the stage light's onboard computer. It processes the commands the lighting technician enters. Commands can be entered from the control panel or remotely from a computer. After installing the main power supply, they plug a DMX cable into the control card. DMX is the digital network through which the console or computer communicates to the stage light. They join this completed unit to the rest of the housing, which has the DMX and power connectors. This stage light is now finished and ready for a thorough quality control check. They plug it into a testing machine, which powers it up and verifies several functions. The machine also calibrates every color to ensure consistency in every stage light they manufacture. Then they run the stage light at full power for three hours nonstop to simulate strenuous operating conditions. Once the light passes these tests, it's ready for its stage debut.